Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about Ghost Dogs. Ghost Dogs is an animated short horror film directed by Joe Kappa and animated by Joe Kappa and written by Joe Kappa and J.W. Hawford with an original score by Nicholas Poss. This movie is about a dog who's home alone, surrounded by the ghost of his family's dead ex-furry pals. It's marvelous. The ghost dog's style and the way it's animated really makes it stand out from a lot of the different other animated short films that, that were presented at Sundance. It was kind of the main one that just stood out to me just because of how everything looked and I chalked this up to the background artist and the animator but everything just looks really nice and especially the ghost dogs themselves I like how they don't really look like actual dogs and it's kind of like when you look at them there's a feeling of wrongness like they're not too humanoid and they're not too dog like they just look wrong and that kind of adds to like the unease that you that like you feel towards watching it and I really think that was an excellent touch and I really think that's why this is is one of the many reasons actually why this is a really memorable short film I also like, like, in this animation, how the ghost dogs themselves, they look creepy and they look aggressive, but the actual main character, our little dog that we follow throughout the short film, looks very cute and friendly and welcoming. And I think that's a pretty cool contrast between the two. The tone of this short film really makes it stand out because it's, you know, it's not super, super unnerving. Like, it's unnerving but there's just moments in it that are so absurd that you kind of just have to laugh and i really like that about it like it's scary and there are scenes that will actually really make you scared and um that's great but it also has like these funny moments and like these funny little kinks in the background that i really like and yeah i really enjoy that because it, it's its own thing and i really like that because it because, you know, you need more originality these days. Overall style was just really nice. And combined with the work of the background artist Patrick Carroll and the animator Joe Kappa, all, all of it just coming together really made it nice. And it was really just a good blending of everyone involved's talent. Another element of this film that I really enjoyed was how visual the storytelling was. And, like, you know this had to be written. And it was written very well. But, you know, the way, the way how dependent it is on the visual storytelling is just very impressive to me and how they did it because, you know, there's enough nuance for you to kind of guess what's happening. But, you know, as the film moves along, you kind of know, kind of get an idea of what's happening and there's never really like a definitive what 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 is happening type of thing. So there's a lot you can theorize about, but um, yeah, I really like how visual the storytelling is. And it's really something that you have to sit down and watch, which I think is really, really good because, you know, I love to just pick out little tiny things in the background. I like to make little theories about it. And just like looking at the background alone, you could easily make a video talking about what you think is going on here and the kind of theories you have. So I just think that alone is really interesting because I love films like that, that kind of spark questions and curiosity. And I think that was a really excellent touch by the background artist and everyone else involved. I'd also like to give credit where it's due to the composer, Nicholas Poss. Uh, without his score and his music, this film would not be the same. Like the atmosphere that he creates and the overall vibe, like not the tone, but like the vibe of the film would not be the same and it really really adds to it and it's really good and yeah it's better than most horror soundtrack these days but yeah i i like it personally and i think that if you watch it you'll you'll see what i mean it definitely provides a very nice atmosphere into this little world that our little dog protagonist is in i'd like to touch on earlier what i was talking about before and how the film's openness and kind of how it leads a lot of things to questioning really makes it a really really good thing to rewatch because i feel like if i were to rewatch it again i would have more questions and i might notice things i haven't noticed before so i really think that's like a good touch because you know i think one thing that really makes some that really makes something like a piece of media 
really, really successful is that you want to rewatch it over and over again and you want to think about it and you kind of want to dissect it. So yeah, I think this film does an excellent job at that on, on, on bringing the watcher back for more and wanting to figure out more and more bits and pieces of the story and this world that the characters are in. So yeah, I really, really want to rewatch this film. And I suggest you guys should watch it too. However, overall, Ghost Dogs was a really great short film. Had awesome animation, awesome music, awesome story. Really cool visual storytelling, kind of absurdist horror. And yeah, I really recommend you guys watch it. Uh, Ghost Dogs is like a 5 out of 5 for me. I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, um, check it out. Also, um, the poster for this thing is really, really cool looking. I, I dig it. Um, they have a store where you can get like merch with some of their stuff on it and, like it has some stills from the movie on their shirts and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd recommend you guys um, maybe get a shirt from them after you watch the film. I'm definitely going to get one of their shirts. I kind of wish they had a poster because I really like the um, movie poster. But yeah, um, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to make some more videos because I saw some some of the Sundance films. So. Yeah, I'm going to make some more videos about those later on. And if you guys like what I'm doing, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.